Hey YouTube, this is Redneck Mechanic, and uh, if you remember before, there used to be a rear engine rider here, sitting there in that spot, and that's gone now. And I have this, and also another trade. I traded that for two things, and I'll show you what I traded them for. That mower didn't work at a carburetor problems anyway, but this is a Husqvarna. I'm not sure of the year yet, but it's, eh, it's 2000, it looks like. And it's just got a hydrostatic like this. It's nothing too special and until to you open this hood. It's got a 24 friggin' horsepower motor. I mean, my God. Look at that crap. Rears and straighten too. That's my, that's, that's my game. I mean, 24 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower, man. That's more than that tractor's got. It's more than like that all my lawnmowers in there half. I mean, that's a lot of horsepower, man. So I might, so what I have to do to it to get it or I can try. I've got the battery charging. Put a spark plug right there, which I have. And on this side, let me take this cover off. One second. As you can see, the magneto, well, the you know, spark plug wire in this part here, I forgot what it's called, goes here and it was cut. But that 22 horsepower between parts motor half has like the exact same one, so I just take it off the parts motor. So that's, that's simple. I already have one of these. Put that on there. And then I have to take the fuel line, and I have, I have some extra fuel line, so I have to run that to the carburetor, basically, because that was took off. And then I think that's all I have to do to see what's, what's up with it, because he said it might need a rod in it. He said it might need it. Not, he's confident it needs it, because if it does, that 22 horsepower V twin, if they're the same cubic inch, then a rod ought to work out of that, right? It's up in over, over there, 22 horsepower V twin. It ought to work out of that, right? So I'm thinking this motor will be going good and everything, and I'll have a functional 24 horsepower V twin Briggs and Stratton, which I didn't get a deck with this more, so cutting grass with it's out of the question. So I don't know what I could do. I could ride this a little bit with it, but it's a hydrostatic. I think this one's good for like really strong pulling or something. But of course, I can't make it faster. I could just, I don't know if I would make it a mud mold with a hydrostatic meter or something, but as of right now, until I get it running, after I get it running, I don't know, because I mean, that's a powerful motor, motor right there. I don't know if I'd swap it into like, excuse me, the John Deere. I wouldn't swap it into that because the wiring ain't the same and that mower's too little for, well, it's not too little, but I mean, a 24 horsepower in that green mower? Nah. John Deere, I don't know. I got to do some work on that to get it going right. I had it going right, but then I realized some more faults I had. I didn't know it was okay. But see, this thing is, this thing's a beast. I ain't checked oil in it yet. I had got it home like an hour ago and we went to the store. But I mean, this motor is just Hercules up in here. It's 24 friggin' horsepower. The coal looks good in it. It's actually really clean. Well, it's not really clean. It's like cleaner than you'd think. But yeah, I'll hook the gas line up to there from over here, probably. Or I'll run it. i run it whichever way, but. As of right now, I have a Husqvarna. YTH two four four eight twenty four horsepower ELS Briggs and Stratton is two four four eight because it had a forty eight inch deck on it. I mean, this is a big mower. That hood's like huge. Have you seen? It's like fat. Like, I'm not like there's the front of that tractor. And there's a hood. This thing is huge. Yeah, just look at the front tires compared to it. It's a big old mower though. And if I can get this thing going, I'll be like yee open here. Well, I guess that's it for this video. And more to come on this more. See you later.